Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. For this video, we are going to um, discuss dynamic challenge. This is um, exercise for chapter 2, form 3, um, which is ten standard forms. Okay. So this is question number 1. Round off the following numbers and decimal correct to the significant significant figures state in the bracket so this is the bracket so this is the answer uh, actually to round off the number uh, I, I already explained in my previous video if you don't understand please refer to my previous previous video let me show one example for a 23,725 So, uh, we want to round off this number correct to uh, two significant figures. So, this is the first significant figures and this is the second significant figures. So, look at the number after the two significant figures which is 7. So, 7 uh, 7 is greater than 5, so we have to plus 1 for the second significant figures. So, 3 plus 1 is 4. So, the answer will be 24,000. Okay. Next, question number 2. Given that M is 3.2 times 10 to the power of 3 and n equals to 5.43 times 10 to the power of 4. Calculate the values of the following operation. State your answer in standard form correct to 3 significant figures. So, 2mn means 2 times m and n. 2 times m and then times n. You can write like this. 2 times, this is M and this is N. Okay, this one. M is 3.2 times 10 to the power of 3. N is 5.43 times 10 to the power of 4. So next, you just use calculator to calculate this. I'll show you how to use calculator for this question. So, this is my calculator. So, you just follow the question. 2 bracket 3.2 times 10 to the power of 3. You can uh, use this button. Exponent button. Exponent button means times 10 to the power of. So, 3.2 times 10 to the power of 3. So, 3. Close bracket. And then, another bracket. 5.43 times 10 to the power of 4. Then, close bracket. Press equal. So, the answer will give you in the form of um, single number. Okay, if you want to give your answer correct to three significant figures, okay, you just press mod 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 5 times. So, choose uh, number 2 because this is for significant figures. SCI um, represents significant figures. So, press 2 and then uh, the calculator will ask you 0 to 9. This is mean uh, how many significant figures you want. So, if you want 3 significant figures, you just press 3. Then the answer will give you in the form of um, standard form and 3 significant figures. So, the answer will be 3.48. Can you see that? Times 10 to the power of 8. So, this is the answer. Okay, for B, 
M plus N. So, this is M plus and this is N. So, if you want to uh, calculate this using calculator, so you just uh, press 3.2 exponent times 10 to the power of 3. Next, plus 5.43 times 10 to the power of 4. And then, you just press equal. Then the calculator will give you the answer 5.75 times 10 to the power of 4. For question A to H, you you no need to um, clear mod your calculator because all the question asks to give the answer correct to three significant figures. So you uh, you can use this until question H. But after that, you have to um, reset your calculator. If you not reset your calculator, your calculator will give you um, the answer in standard form correct to three significant figures for all calculation. For example, if you want to um, calculate 9 plus 6, for example. So, if you not reset your calculator, the calculator will give you uh, this answer 1.50 times 10 to the power of 1 is actually 9 plus 6 is 15 okay but the calculator will give you the answer in standard form correct to three significant figures so this is um, because you not reset your calculator okay uh, to reset your calculator just press shift mod then press 3 equal equal then your calculator will reset okay okay next okay question uh, a and b just now i already discussed So, this is the answer for B. 5.75 times 10 to the power of 4. Next, question C. N minus M. So, just write M minus N. And then the answer. So, this is the answer for C. D. Okay, M square plus N square. So, this is M square plus N square. And this is the answer 2.96 times 10 to the power of 9 this one you can use calculator ok you just press 3.2 E3 in bracket square right so write the answer and then uh, press up and then using calculator uh, calculate this one and then write the answer here ok then you just plus these two Next, question E, 3M over 2N. So, this is the answer. You can use your calculator. F, M plus N over M times N. Okay, you can solve one by one. First, you do uh, in the numerator. Next, uh, calculate for denominator and then uh, and then the answer this one use calculator for G M to the power of negative 2 plus N to the power of negative 3 so just use calculator the calculator will give this answer plus ok I'll show you how to do this using calculator so for this question bracket 3.2 exponent 3 or times 10 to the power of 3 close bracket 
to the power of negative 2. Then press equal. So you write this answer to okay. Write this answer here. Next plus and then do the same thing for this bracket. 5.43 times 10 to the power of 4 close bracket to the power of negative 3. So just write the answer here. And then you can use calculator to get this answer. You can skip this two step. Okay, you can skip. You can uh, write Strike away the answer by using calculator. Okay, next. So, this is answer for G, H. This is N minus m to the power of negative 3 then just do the calculation and this is the final answer all right so question number 2a fill in all the box all the empty box here okay as you can see here okay Alright, so for this step is actually for this number. 2.5 times 10 to the power of 2. This power of 2, 10 to the power of 2, we want to change to 10 to the power of 4 so that it equal to the power of this number. Okay, so... What number plus, because this is multiplication, plus 4 equals to 2. Uh, that number you have to uh, write here. What number plus 4 equals to 2. So the answer will be negative 2. Negative 2 plus 4 equals to 2. Okay, next. Neg 2.5. Times 10 to the power of negative 2 equals to 0 0.025. Next, since the power already equal, we just plus this two number. So, 0 0.025 plus 1.35. By using calculator, you'll get 1.375. Okay, very easy. Next, B. The first number remain unchanged. Okay, as you can see here, remain unchanged. Plus 3.4 times 10 to the power of... Okay, this is actually a number plus negative 3 equals to negative 6. What is the number? The number will be negative 3. Negative 3 plus negative 3 equals to negative 6. Next, 3.4 times 10 to the power of negative 3 equals to 0 0.0034. Now, both number already in the same um, number for this. So, you just add this two number. 5.74 plus 0 0.0034. Then use your calculator, you'll get 5.7434 times 10 to the power of negative 3. C, the first number remain unchanged. For the second number, what number plus 2 equals to negative 1? So the number is negative 3. Next, 4.2 times 10 to the power of negative 3 equals to 0 0.0042. 
Next, 1.75 minus this number. Okay, the answer will be here got typing area error here should be negative because this is negative or minus. So 1.75 minus 0.0042 equals to 1.7458 times 10 to the power of 2. Next for D. What number plus negative 2 equals to negative 5? Okay, is negative 3. Next, 4.3. Okay. So, this is 0 0.0043. Okay, next, 3.7 minus 0 0.0043 equals to 3.657. Okay, question number 4. A factory produces 72,000 packets of chips every week. If the factory operates 6 days a week and 18 hours a day, calculate the number of packets of chips produced every day. State your answer in standard form. So, 72,000 minus 6 day a week equals to 12,000. And then 12,000, uh, change this to standard form. So, this is the answer for A. For B, the average profit per hour if the net profit of one packet of chips is 32 cents. State your answer to the nearest RM. So for B, uh, the number of packet a day, this is the number of packet a day, divided by 18 hours equals to 667. So every day, this is the number of um, chips, packet of chips produced, then times 2. Uh, the profit 0 0.32 cent or 0 0.32 ringgit which is 32 cent equals to RM 214. Okay, this one already uh, drawn off to the nearest RM. Next, question number 5. The estimated population of Malaysia for 2018 is 32 million. So, given Malaysians Land area is 330-803 km square. Calculate the population density of Malaysia for each square kilometer for 2018. State your answer correct to the nearest integer. So, yeah, this question, we just divide the number of population of Malaysia over or divide by the number of land area. So, equals to 97 people. It, that's all for this uh, exercise. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.